are at Trek with Dr. Jonathan Crane, and this is new. We were here, uh, I don't know, maybe two years ago, and the dragon fruit were grown in a whole different way. So since then, you have changed like that. you've changed it. You've got uh, <laughs> rebar uh, up here, and uh, looks like a pressure treated pole. Um, yes. And so anyway, yeah. what is going on with dragon fruit? Yeah, so in Florida, the dragon fruit acreage has zoomed up. We've got over 700 acres commercially in the state. Uh, as far north as Merritt Island, all the way south down here, the west coast, including you know Lee County. So there's small plantings all over, but there's at least, the majority of it is in Miami-Dade County. Most of that's being grown is the white pulp type, mm -hmm. but there's a big interest in, in growing more of the magenta or dark pink colored. Yeah, there's right? so many different uh, varieties and there's very interesting yeah. flavors, differences yeah. in flavors. Exactly, you're exactly right. Um, and also differences in insects and diseases, oh, yeah, <laughs> depending that, on which important. variety you're growing. <laughs> um, but what, so what we did was we got a, we got a grant to put in a planting for experiments for both insect disease control and cultural practices. So what you're seeing is we had just recently been planting, and I'll show you some differences. And this one was planted uh, probably, let me see, probably five months ago. And you can see the plants are growing off and sprouting and growing. And so we'll remove these, these sprouts. We want them to come up to the top and then come over like an umbrella and grow out like this. And so that's what's happening. So we've been training them, tying them to this, guiding them to come up here. And you'll notice they're rooting on the wood. So you'll see roots and that's common and that's what we want. And once these get established, so probably sometime next year, um, some of them will start fruiting, hopefully by next year. Um, and there are a number of significant fungal pathogens. Uh, Neoscalidium is, being, is the most common one in this area for sure. People thought it was anthracnose, it's not anthracnose. So this is a planting where we have solid rows of some varieties, and then we have a collection of a whole bunch of different varieties because you never know, it might be the one in the middle back there that's like, it doesn't get the disease. And you're like, oh my gosh. So how many varieties are there? We have, well, there's- I mean, in here. Oh, in here. <laughs> um, in here, it's about 13, 14 varieties, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, this is, uh, if I remember correctly, this one is, this whole row is one called Alice. It's a, it's a white pulp type. And then um, over here is more, oh, and you'll notice, okay, so this doesn't have a cover. So once the vine reaches the top, we take this cover off and I'll show you the cover. So it's been, it, it, it's in the, well, I should just back up. So. In its native habitat, they grow on trees. Mm -hmm. And as you know, trees have some shade. <laughs> and <laughs> ideally, <yes. laughs> Ideally, some shade and some light. And so they call those trees Tudor trees. Mm -hmm. And so they have, they have shown and they know that providing some shade helps get the plant established more quickly. It can be done in full sun, but when they're really young, some shade actually enhances their, their growth response. So that's what this is. And once again, so once it reaches the top, we will take this off and then and let it go. Um, and actually, we just planted this yesterday. Um, we rooted these uh, and then went ahead and planted them. And they have a micro sprinkler irrigation system. So basically with dragon fruit, they grow up, but once they can no longer grow up, when they start hanging down, that's when they flower. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, they'll start, they'll start flowering, yeah, so once they start getting well, like an umbrella, you know, they'll start flowering. And that usually, yeah, usually they'll start flowering second, third year, depending on their growth and how good a growth they make. There's some people who really get them to grow really quickly and really rapidly, and you're mm -hmm. like, wow. Um, I suspect ours will probably really be more productive year two, three, somewhere in there. Um, and then the other thing we do is we took... Um, roofing nails, is it? Yeah, roofing <laughs> nails, basically. Um, these big nails. But what we did was we take compost and uh, mound it at the base. We don't, we don't, pound, we don't uh, firm it in or anything, just put compost. 
and it'll root more in this, but it really likes compost, um, good, well composted compost, and that's what that's about. And then of course, this is about keeping the weeds at bay as much as possible. Yeah. Um, so we don't have to uh, herbicide as much and, and other stuff like that. Um, and so that's what that's all about. And then the irrigation, we just irrigate periodically. So th this project, uh, are you going to intentionally infect the trees? And, I mean, not the trees, the plants. Yeah. And then see yes. who survives? Yes, <laughs> we'll do that type of thing, yes. Yeah. So we'll take, in some cases, they'll take pieces from it and do it in the laboratory. And then once they feel certain about what it is and what's going on, then yes, we would come out here. And we've done that with that other planting that we have at Trek. We actually came in, we needed the disease. <laughs> so they went out and inoculated the whole planting with the disease that then we, we tested different things to control it. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of what we do. Yeah. Um, I'm, right. never, I'm never happy about it. The plant pathologists just love it. But. We make you sick and then we're going to hopefully make you well. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. So, yeah, and so we need a planting, you know. Um, we wouldn't think of inoculating a grower's field, right? But here, we can sacrifice Right, stuff yeah, that's the point, is to exactly. learn all this stuff so that you can share the knowledge with the growers and homeowners exactly. and anybody who's growing it. That's right, exactly, exactly. So that's what's going on here. It's just in the beginning, and, and yeah. hopefully uh, this time next year we'll start some things. Yeah, yeah, it looks great. And this is um, Dr. Gazis, Dr. Zhang, uh, myself, and Dr. Carillo. The four of us have these projects. Yeah. Excellent.